Hi, and welcome back. For this video, I will be covering how to organize this drawing by creating layers. This will be completed through our Layers Properties tab, and we will begin to separate different elements of your drawing. First, you will need to come to your Home tab, or your, in your rib, Home ribbon, you will go over to your Layers tab. I'm just simply left clicking on the layers property and then this current layer box opens up. Right here where you have, it looks like stacks of paper and a orange star by it, you see it says create new layer. This list displays a layer name like layer one or two and the name is selected so that you can either enter a new layer name immediately the new layer and here is the property of the current selected layer in the layer list. You can also change the color, you can change your line weights, you can change the transparency and you can turn your layers on and off. So what we will be doing is creating layers in a hierarchy manner. This is the same thing that you would do if you were working and putting in your dimensions. You will want a dimension from the most important to the least important. So we'll do the same here for our layers. So to add this new layer, I'm just gonna simply click here and then this new layer pops up and I can type in the name that I want it to be. So working from the outside in, I'm gonna start with my structure. And I'm just simply using my keyboard to type in the word structure. You can go ahead and click on the color to change the color. And we'll select green press OK and then from here you can change your different line types for now our line types will stay continuous and we'll keep our our line weight at a default for now once you are completed you can click off well notice that this green check mark is still marked by this layer zero and this is just telling me that the current layer that I'm going to be drawing in is in zero if I want to change that and make my structure my current layer, then I will come here and put my double click to the status of the structure layer and notice that now the structure has the green check mark, which means that when I begin to draw, I'll be drawing on this layer and the color will come out green. But for now, we're just going to put it back on zero. From here, you can again add in your next layer. I'm going to type in fern as abbreviation, or you can type out the whole word furniture and change that layer color. Let's say blue and select OK. Add a new layer, and we're going to call this our miscellaneous layer. And I'm going to change that color as well to magenta. So now I have created three different layers. You know what? We're going to add, instead of that miscellaneous layer, if you ever need to go back and change it, you can go ahead and just double click on the layer and change it. I'm going to change this to a door layer. And I will like that color to be the Sienna. And then from here, I can add in my miscellaneous if I choose to do so. Once I click this X, I can come out of my layers property box and return to my drawing. Now if I just scroll into my drawing a little here, I can select everything that I'm considering to be my structure. We're just gonna start at this top half of our drawing here. My structure includes my interior and my exterior walls. Now that I have these items selected, I can go up to my layers box here to the drop down, and I can select the word furniture. Now what it's telling me is that my layer is frozen, which means I need to come up here and click my 
it looks like a snowflake to turn that layer back on. Once it's on, it's no longer frozen, then I have something that looks like a sun. And while I'm in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and unfreeze all of my layers. But notice that I put it on the blue layer, which is furniture, so I need to make that change, select everything again, to be sure that I have it on the structure layer. And any items that I missed, I can just again grab them and switch the layers at the top. Now that went pretty fast, so I'll show it again slower. If you ever do not want to scroll up to the top and pull down your layers, you can always select whatever you want to go on a particular layer, as I'm doing here, right click and go to your properties. You will get this menu. And in this menu where it says general is where you can begin to change your layers as well. If I go over to where it says layer, it's showing me that I'm on layer zero. So I can just go to my drop down and switch it here to the layer that in which I would like this object or line to be on. And that was my structure. So I just changed it to the structure layer. When you're done, you can just X out. So that is another way of getting to your properties layers and changing anything that you have in your drawing. Again, this way I can select the object or line, come to the drop down and switch it at the top. Or for this area, I can select the object, right click, again, scroll down to where it says properties, go over to my layer and move to the drop down here. Another thing that I want to cover while creating these layers and organizing this drawing is working on something that is called our line weights. Many of our drawings have different line weights or lines within our drawings, excuse me, have different line weights to give the drawing some depth and importance. To change the different line weights or make these lines on the exterior bolder, you will go to your layers properties again. I will come over to where it says structure and notice that we have our color, line type, and line weights. If I double click on the line weights, our default line weights come up. Right now, luckily, mines are in inches, inches. But however, in some cases, we have these shown on our screen as in millimeters. To change these, you would do such as this. You would type in LW units. And if your units has a value set at zero, you're going to be in inches. But let's say it wasn't in inches and it had a value set at one. So when I click on my line weights, you notice that it will come up as millimeters. But as interior designers, we're looking for those inches. So if I select OK and I type in LW units, and I change that value back to zero, when I go into my line weights as a default, I will see that they are back in my inches. Let's go ahead and change those back to millimeters. So now our line weights defaulted to millimeters, okay? The second way to change and just go into your line weight settings is to type in the word or begin to type in a word line or line weight. Once you click and open that up, you come into your line weight settings here. And right now the units for listing is in millimeters. You can click inches and it would change your line weights here into inches. 
So now you've changed it in the settings as well. So once you select the word OK, when you go back to your line weight here on your layers tab, you are switched back to your inches. Once you have all of your line widths set up, then from here you can begin to change and work on whatever your layer properties needed to be. So now I have my structure, everything, I have missing a few items. I have everything that I need on my structured layer. And now I want to change the line weight of it. And I'm just scrolling in and out of my drawing here using my mouse or the wheel of my mouse. And when I open up this property of my layers, I can select my line weight and I can just scroll down to whatever thickness that I want that line weight to be. Select OK. And these lines are set to that. If I wanted to put these doors in that door swing on my door layer, I'm just selecting them. Coming down to where it says door. But I never set up that line weight, so I can come in here to the default and select that line weight for my doors. So now I have a, it'll be shown when I go to print this out as a thinner line. Remember the other option to change your line or your layers is to go to your general and select that here and then this is where you can also change your line weight as well here by selecting from the drop down to update that layer so i hope this video helps you to understand how to create your layer properties so that you can begin to organize your drawings. I also hope that it provides you with two great ways and shortcuts to go into your settings and change your line weights as needed, especially if you begin to work on a drawing and you notice that your line weights are in millimeters. Now you know how to turn them into inches. Remember to like, comment, and share this video and be on the lookout and by subscribing to see more videos about our AutoCAD.